Literally just the other day, I was stressing with my friends about Keurigs and K-Cups and whether or not they're slowly filling our bodies with microplastics. And then yesterday, we published this investigation from The Guardian. After all that worrying, it seems that the science on microplastics isn't as solid as we thought. Here's what's going on. In the past few years, lots of attention grabbing studies have come out that made clear that microplastics were showing up in our brains, our organs, and even our blood. That kicked off a flood of research and a lot of public anxiety about what plastics might be doing to our bodies. But now, many scientists are scrutinizing these findings. They say that the rush to publish results meant some real problems with methodology and some studies skipped critical checks and controls. For example, one study last February claimed microplastic levels in the brain were rapidly increasing. But by November, other researchers challenged it, one even calling it a joke. Here's why. The test was looking for polyethylene, the most common plastic on earth. The problem? Fat can trigger false positives for polyethylene and the human brain is about 60% fat. While studies are being disputed, scientists agree on one thing. Yes, we're exposed to plastics, but what they don't actually know is how much stays in our body or whether most of it just gets expelled. Until stronger, more careful studies are done, the real impact of microplastics is still TBD. For now, researchers say it's still smart to be cautious by avoiding heating foods or drinks in plastic containers. Me personally, I think I'm still probably gonna switch to a French press.